Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Tonight, I'm going to try my hand at this cool farmhouse tray. Let's get started. So the first thing I did was I have this um, pizza pan from the Dollar Tree that I flipped over and I'm putting Mod Podge on the surface as well as that little well all the way around. Um, once that's completely coated, then I'm going to put on this super cool fabric I got at Michael's. Look at it. There's cows and all sorts of farmhouse stuff. So I just smooth that on and I let it dry really well and again I'm putting I'm making sure to go around the well as as well <laughs> that sounded horrible anyways so then once that's dry and then cut the excess fabric off with some scissors and then see now that's done and there's Lola my um, llama that holds my glue sticks <laughs> Anyways, all right, so take some Jenga blocks and the first one you're going to just put a nice dollop of glue on the bottom and then hold it and this is, they're all going to go around in that well um, around the pizza pan. The next Jenga block you're going to put glue on one side and on the bottom and then attach it to the other one and I hold them there to secure them until um, until I'm sure that they're not going to flop over. And this is just me going forward, doing them all the way around. Now, I have this one little spot. Ugh, I wasn't really careful, and I kind of went off the went off track a little bit. So if you find yourself in the same position, I take the jangle block, and I just sand each of the long sides. I just kept sanding, and then it fit. So do not distress. I know it can be very frustrating, but no worries, okay? You'll be able to fix it by just sanding because it's a, they're like pine. It's easy peasy. It goes fast. So um, not to worry. So then once I did that, then I glued just like I did the other ones. I put some glue on either side of the Jenga block and then popped it in and bingo, bango, it worked. So see, I mean, this was just a couple of sandings and it's already fitting better. So all that to say is no emergencies here. We can make it work. All right, so then once that's done, I get some jute rope from the dollar store and um, I put some hot glue on the edge and glue it all the way around. Now, friends, if you have E6000, use that, but I can't use it, so um, I did it this way. Now, you could put jute rope on the inside as well, but I chose not to. I just like the way this looked um, and then just go all the way around. Hooray. Now, you'll see at the end, I have a picture of it being distressed and not distressed with paint. I think it looks beautiful both ways. So you decide, and you can even paint the Jenga blocks. I mean, there's so many options with this. Um, I hope you'll try it though. It looks super fun. And again, remember it is decorative. Um, you know, I don't know that it's gonna be super st like sturdy, but man, it makes a really cute thing for your table. All right, friends, there it is. Hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to follow for more DIY fun. And remember, blessings, count them be one.